Greetings, hello and welcome to the quick and dirty strat layer tutorial for Long War of the Chosen. So, we're gonna skip most of the details here in this one. Uh, if you want a more detailed tutorial, check the playlist down below. There's a detailed haven management, strat layer, infiltration tutorial. This is gonna be quick and dirty, hopefully done in five minutes. Alright, when you get to the strat layer, you see your resistance havens with showing up with this kind of pop-up. First of all, there are a few numbers here. Advent Strength. This is how many Advent units are in the region. This determines how difficult your missions will be, or rather how many enemies you will encounter on a mission. Um, the higher it goes up, the more difficult it is to run missions. Usually you want to run missions in Strength 1 to maybe 4. Um, anything higher is really, really risky. The V is for Vigilance. This is an indicator for how much Advent wants to increase its strength in the region. Basically, you look at two regions, for example, this one, Vigilance 2, this one over here, Vigilance 10, so it's very likely that they want to move strength out of this region into this region. So it's kind of a comparable value between different regions, and then Advent moves units um, by, for example, supply rates. This is a supply rate, probably coming from this low vigilance region, moving additional troops, additional strength into this high vigilance region. Finally, the F. This is the force level. This is basically the tech level that Advent has. It starts with 1, it goes up to 20, which is maxed out tech level. The game still shows higher than 20, but for most things it doesn't have any effect if it goes higher than 20. It really just determines what kind of enemies you will encounter. Um, there's often a confusion that you encounter high level enemies in low strength regions. Again, strength is just the number of enemies. Force level is the tech level. So, force level 20, you find gatekeepers, sector bots, all that good stuff. Rebel jobs. Um, each of your haven has a bunch of rebels. Uh, when you start the game, you have six. You can get more over time, and you can lose some on retaliations. Rebels have four jobs that you can assign via this screen. Um, hiding, Supply, Recruit and Intel. Basically your havens will be in five categories. Um, you might have a haven where you run missions in. Like for me this is New Australia. Strength 3, it's one of my lowest strength regions. I want to run missions in here. Any haven where you want to run missions in, all your rebels on Intel. If you have more than 13 rebels, you can only have 13 max on Intel, but this is basically my I want to run missions here region. Everybody on Intel plus are going to be scanning with the Avenger. That scanning in a region increases your Intel for mission detection. This way you find missions in a region. If you don't want to um, run missions anywhere because it's gotten too hot, you usually put all your guys into hiding. Um, you can safely have two people do another job. This avoids a retaliation. So here, Western US, Strength 10. I probably don't want to run any missions here. That's fairly, um, fairly tricky. So I have five people on hiding, two on recruit, because they cannot cause a retaliation in this region. So I'm safe here. So this is your cooling down. Uh, when you do this, Vigilance will drop down over time. Hopefully they move out a few people. Maybe, maybe not. And then, um, the next thing is, if you manage to liberate a region and you have enough rebels in there, you put everybody on supply. Um, you pretty much, it's not worth using the supply job at any earlier stage in a campaign. So um, try to liberate a region as early as possible. I want to say um, May, June for difficulties um, below Legend and June, July if you're Legend. Um, uh, playing on Legend difficulty, simply because on Legend it's delayed by a month. So yeah, everybody on supply, um, an engineer as a Haven advisor gives a boost to your income generation and you get that sweet, sweet supply income. Then um, another option for an Haven is then also, it's a liberated region but you don't have enough rebels yet, sure put everybody on recruit, hey, and we just recruited a new guy here in East Africa. Um, be, keep in mind, every new rebel that joins a haven has a 1 in 3, sorry, 1 in 6 chance of being a faceless. Um, so 
even though when recruiting keep keep a high ranking soldiers in there um, they help with recruiting and they can also then detect if your your guys are faceless and that's pretty much all there is to haven management um, again region where I don't want to do anything in everybody hiding a few people on recruit um, there's also, for example, in this haven, I'm not even running anyone in crude because I have 15 people. I don't need more. Um, yeah. Supplies in liberated region. And intel in a region where you run and run missions in. As a rule of thumb, anything below strength 4, you want to run missions in. Strength 4, you can. Strength 5 and higher, go into hiding. And that's all you need to know about the strat layer. Um, again, if you want a more details, more in-depth view, go check out the playlist um, with the in-depth haven management tutorial so you see the numbers behind and why. I'm just telling here what you should do. If you want to know the why, check out the longer video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.